You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. Learning the news today was pretty shocking to me. Well-known former pastor and Champaign community leader pleaded guilty to bankruptcy fraud and misusing federal loans and grant money to gamble at casinos. Good evening. I'm Renee Cooper. Jennifer and Jessica have the evening off. Lakivi Johnson stepped down as pastor of Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church before Thanksgiving. Members of the congregation and others knew him as a volunteer, a homeless liaison for the Champaign School District, or a football coach at Centennial High School. They were shocked, and now they're hurt. When there is, has been a falling pastor, we have to pray for him. And, and we as Christians have to keep moving forward. Linda Turnbull, like many, know Lakeithi Johnson as a minister at Mount Calvary, formerly Jericho Church, in the Garden Hills neighborhood. Well, I've been knowing him a long time, pretty long time. She lived in the neighborhood for six or seven years. The federal lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court in Urbana this week says that's where Johnson operated nonprofit Lifeline Champagne to provide summer programs for kids in the area from about 2012 to 2019. Federal prosecutors say he misapplied more than $25,000 in grant money meant for the nonprofit for his personal benefit, including, quote, numerous ATM cash withdrawals at various casinos. Johnson also admitted to using more than 31,000 in federal student loans for various non-educational expenses, including to gamble at casinos. Finally, the former pastor pleaded guilty to committing bankruptcy fraud by falsely claiming in a petition to the court that he was paid only $42,900 from his church in 2019. The book of James talks about how pastors are held at a high level of accountability. Federal prosecutors discovered that in reality, he had received tens of thousands more from the church that year. I feel saddened because this is a pastor, and like I said, when you do things like that, you need to step down and be held accountable for what you do. Less than a week passed between the lawsuit being filed and Johnson's guilty plea. His lawyer, Steve Beckett, tells me the proceedings have been particularly quick because his client cooperated in the investigation and admitted responsibility for his conduct. Now, Beckett says Johnson had a gambling issue a few years ago that he's now sought help for. Johnson is out on bond and is scheduled to be sentenced in early April. If convicted, he faces up to a 10-year prison sentence and up to a $250,000 fine for the federal program misapplication. For student loan at misapplication and that false statement in bankruptcy, he faces up to five years and another $250,000 fine. An editor's note on this story, the nonprofit Lifeline was a recipient of our funds from our station's Victory Over Violence program. The project we supported is not involved in this particular case.